hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today i am in kinagop in naivasha and this place has been raining since morning and it's around 1 pm so i've been waiting to do a vlog but the rain won't let me do anything so guys stay tuned i'm visiting a relative let me see if i can find something interesting over here welcome you back to king be most welcome this is a nice place in Kinago and everywhere else karibu ni tena cheers welcome back cheers. home guys cheers, cheers. cheers. welcome back <laughs> Guys, like I just mentioned, I'm in Kinagop and this place is raining. The weather is amazing, amazing rain wise. So, my, my sister just relocated back, so we just came here to welcome her back. And uh, let me see what she has, what she has to offer. She just moved back, uh, back in Kenya, and we are just trying to organize this place. And I saw this kitchen and I was interested, especially with this place. So this is just a motivation. It's not a show off. Or maybe give people an idea of how you can make a simple but nice kitchen. So that will be her kitchen. I'm sure it's going to look nice once it's fully done. That's the fireplace, as you can see, guys. The sinks over there. These are the sink. Yeah, those are her cabinets, as you can see, guys. It's a motivation, to be honest. Yeah, and I think that will be her laundry. So I'll just be showing you the kitchen for now, because the other places are still being organized. They're still trying to put everything together and everything into place. Okay, guys, I decided to visit her farm. She has a little, uh, a little garden going on here. She's growing some uh, potatoes over here. Let me show you. Yeah, this is a potato plant. That's how potatoes are being produced. As you can see over there, all that, that's potatoes. And then I saw something, the sukumawiki, we call them sukumawiki, others call them kills. So the sukumawiki is over here, others call them kills. To be honest, she's doing good considering she just came back. She has her spring onions. This is one person who won't sleep hungry. And uh, this is what? This is uh, a sukumawiki family, Eunice, yeah? This is kale. No, this is kale. The kales are here. You see, guys? And all that. And they are right there. They don't want the camera. <laughs> they are camera shy. So this is, a, this is motivating as well. You can start something with what you have. And I believe she will have more, maybe cattle and sheep over there as time goes by. So keep it locked my way out I found the cabbage this is cabbage this is how cabbages are grown this way Wow cabbages and more and more these are beans now this is how now the bean pl plantation or plant looks like these are beans and a bit of maize although not so much let me zoom in that's maize and yeah, so no matter, no matter what happens, she's assured of food, greens, and organic food for that matter. Oh yeah. She has more fruits here, as you can see. The passion fruit over here. There. And a bit of rosemary for the tea lovers. You know, rosemary is used in making tea and also maybe rice, meat. It's more like a seasoning plant. So that's how rosemary plants look like, guys. More of passion. And yeah. So guys, that will be it for today. Until next time. But before I go, please make sure you watch my videos from the beginning to the end. Please always give them a thumbs up. That is a like. 
and always leave a comment and if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe it's raining guys as you can see i want to go back into the house and this place can rain it has been raining all day i'm telling you the next day hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today i am back again with another chapati video uh so when you see me this with these two lovely ladies we know that we are about to make chapatis so stay tuned keep it locked as we take you through the chapati procedure and if it's your first time here please kindly subscribe and always make sure you watch my videos from the beginning to the end don't forget to like or leave a comment so i don't know if they want to say hi Hi, my name is Jahira Moshina. Speak a little bit louder. Hi. Tasha, come closer. Hi, my name is Jahira Moshina, <laughs> and today we're making chapatis. Yeah, and then Hi, my name is Nabula Moshina, and we're making chapatis today. Yeah, we are making chapatis, so let's go and make the chapatis. Okay, here we are. We are starting with cleaning our hands. They were clean though. And today we will start with preparing the butter nut. So we cut like that and then into two halves, it's hard or maybe we just cut it like this, yeah. It's going round and round and round, this butter nut is clean again, yeah, yeah. peeling. We are done with peeling the butternut. This is how it looks like when it's not cooked. I will be boiling it and then I will blend it or rather mash it. But I prefer blending. Then once I'm done, today I'm using Ajab white flour. I'm not doing any advertisement, but it's actually one of the best unga for chapati. If you're in Kenya, that is. And for the brown one, I'll do chapati up here so guys let's boil the butternut and i'll see you later once i'm done so i have my butternut uh i've, I've already boiled and I, I want to blend it so that we can start with the chapati process guys so yeah stay tuned keep it locked and like i said if you're watching this video for the very first time on my channel please hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching this video as well, you're a returning subscriber, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So guys, keep it locked. So we blended the butternut and now we start with the process. I'm starting with the brown unga. As usual, I normally sieve mine. You don't have to sieve, but it's, it's good to sieve just, you know, so like that okay that's our brown brown and then our white ajab hey i can't wait for this chapels i cannot wait to eat japan hey, <laughs> someone wants to fall someone why do you look so like him standing oh you are you're still older by one minute <laughs> guys the things you fight about okay now this is the white flour uh, do I put it on? yeah we are recording there you go hey those chapatis will be made yo that's enough and then we put our sieve away and then pumpkin yeah it's very sweet isn't it it's sweet, yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to taste more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's still hot or not. Any? I'll give you. 
it's bring a plastic spoon there i give you guys it's very sweet i don't know why you guys don't like it when it's a little you know and also it soup is very nice the pumpkin soup especially the other pumpkin yeah. 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 it's yummy yeah. yeah so guys after that now i'm going to put uh yeah, no. salt today i'm not putting sugar because this butternut is very very sugary so we just add salt just a bit depending on your taste today is today and yeah and now you put a bit of oil oh need some yet but not you get me later so and this water here it's warm water i i did boil it and then i let it to cool down you know warm water the one that your hands can handle you know when you put like this you don't get burnt so we start our mixing just a bit and then yeah just like this oh, the brown one is a lot okay guys we mix we mix until it's even do we say even cameraman hmm? until it's even yeah until it's <laughs> how do you say in english it's like even yeah, yeah until we sure. get the dough or the dough okay guys you're, you're not gonna do this in front of the camera please guys guys don't mind my babies <laughs> Nyambura. Hey, hey, and you're very serious you guys okay I'm done mixing the dough and I'll leave it here for like 20 to 30 minutes for a rest because they say when you leave it to rest it makes good very very good chapatis soft ones so I'll leave it here for a bit around 20 like I just said and then I'll be back to finish off with the rest of process which so many of my viewers are familiar with but I did this video again for my new subscribers because the channel has really grown. I have new subscribers and I'm sure they have not watched my previous videos. So I thought I should do another chapati video for them. So guys, like usual, keep it locked. So this is the next procedure of oiling. Is it called oiling? Where? The lights are out i hope you can see but that does not stop us from making shawashi so you just put oil like that you fold and then make a make a ball like that and then like that you continue with this procedure until you're done with your dough so next one so you continue like that and you'll be good to go. Make sure you put enough oil. It softens the chapatis, but mine are already so soft. Like I said, ajab unga is the best to use. So guys, like that. So I will see you on the next step. So now after putting the oil, we spread the chapati like this, round. But, well, it doesn't have to be round. I mean, what matters is the final product and the tastes. And this one particular, this one for today is very soft. So, yes. And then, camera woman, mm -hmm. you come here, you preheat it. Like that. 
Ya. Yes, preheating and then on to the Okay, on to the next one Like that, spread, make it round if you can But if you can't, like I said, it doesn't matter What matters is the final product Like that Okay So guys, after now preheating the chapati, this is the final product where now you put the oil and let it cook until it turns brown or, or rather just looks cooked. Or what do you think, Kamra? Yeah. Yeah, like that. And then you have to keep rolling like a DJ, like that. Roll, roll, roll. And then turn. Put a bit of mafuta. Put a bit of oil. Like that. And then roll. Keep rolling, keep rolling. And it's hot. Mm -hmm. Like that.